The most important and worthwhile relationship that you will ever build is the relationship with yourself. You have been with yourself every moment of every day since you arrived on this planet and you will die with yourself. So it's going to make your life a lot easier if you actually like yourself. So let's get into it. How to build a relationship with yourself. First, we have to identify where your relationship with yourself is lacking. And if you're not sure, by the end of this video, you will be able to identify where your relationship with yourself is lacking and what you can do about it all right let's go I first decided a few years ago that I needed to build a relationship with myself because I was in a relationship for three years with someone who was older than me and they seemed to have themselves mostly figured out and I was still figuring it out when I got out of that relationship it was my duty to figure out who I was without someone else's influence on me so this is the culmination of that journey and here we are now. So one of the first things that I did when I was starting this journey was I started going on solo dates. I was new to Miami and I needed to expand my circle, make friends, meet potential romantic partners and I was not into dating apps like that was something that was never part of my desires at all in life. I didn't even try that. I just went straight to going out literally. Solo dates is a great way to get to know yourself because you have no pressure to perform for anyone to make sure anyone is feeling okay make sure anyone is happy to me that's one of the best gifts I could have ever given to myself I have met amazing people while solo dating I have made friends while solo dating I've gotten into incredible relationships while solo dating and I highly recommend it for everyone make a list of things that you want to do that you have no one to go with and start to tick off things on that list one of the main reasons I just felt like I had to do this was because I liked to do weird or obscure things things that were not normal especially in the black community so I was like I'm not gonna let my life pass me by and not do these things that I want to do just because it's not the norm or whatever whatever limiting beliefs so I would go to museums I would go to restaurants I would go to bars I would go to networking events I would just do a bunch of solo activities so that I could find my tribe for one and I could also find my interests that had nothing to do with other people that's how you discover who you actually are I truly discovered my ability to have incredible conversations with people my gift of gab which brings me here to you today we're gabbing right now my charisma my magnetism like I would not have been able to discover any of that if I hadn't gone on solo dates and mingled with people and just tried different things and just experiencing life you can't wait around for other people to be able to experience your life that's a disservice to yourself and you will regret it truly you will next Next thing I did to cultivate an incredible bond and relationship with myself was journaling. Journaling was an incredible addition to my life. I first got my journal in 2015. That year I think I did one journal entry and then I slowly increased the frequency of my journal entries ever since then. Last year and 2022 I went full in like super super deep into my journaling practice. I truly believe that it has helped me get to know myself better. I'm a person who always has like a list of questions to ask people. Like I'm pretty sure it's a pinned note that I have. I literally have it pinned right here, cues and questions. Like I'm constantly asking questions to people or trying to find different questions that are fun and that are engaging, that helps me have better conversations because small talk really drains me. So this is something that I had to make happen because I couldn't just rely on other people to create good conversations because that's just putting the control in the hands of someone else when really I'm the one in control. I'm the creator of this reality that I currently live in. And if I'm not asking good questions, no one's gonna ask me good questions. And I'm gonna be upset, I'm gonna be like, nobody wants to have mentally stimulating conversations because you're not having them. Like, you are the creator. You are the one. You're the reason why it's not happening in your life. That was a little random tangent and hopefully that resonated with somebody. I would just literally have like a bunch of questions. If you're anything like me and small talk and surface level conversations drain you, I do have a little mini ebook that you can definitely have access to. It, it's free. It's in the description box. You can even ask these questions to yourself to get to know yourself even better. So yeah, it's in the description box. Check it out. It'll be the first link. Something else that goes in tandem with journaling 
journaling is your self-talk. How you speak to yourself will dictate and rule your entire life. It'll dictate and rule how you treat yourself. It'll dictate and rule how other people treat you. It'll dictate and rule the results that you receive in life. Everything starts from within. So the way you speak to yourself is extremely, extremely important and something that you should not take lightly at all. How do you speak to yourself? Do you lift yourself up? Do you encourage yourself? Do you tell yourself that you're doing a great job when you are or do you just make demands all the time are you constantly just demanding 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 perfection out of yourself a way to improve your self-talk is to acknowledge your successes no matter how small when it comes to acknowledging my success sometimes I have a hard time doing it because I feel like anybody could have done this like this is whatever like I didn't do anything that spectacular like my partner helps me to see that no you're actually doing amazing like you're actually doing things that I couldn't do most people can do and you're killing it you're crushing it tell yourself that you're doing amazing another way to build a healthy relationship with yourself is to trust yourself if you want to build a positive healthy relationship with yourself you have to trust yourself you are not in healthy positive relationships with anybody in your life that you don't trust to some level you might not trust them 100 percent which like who could you really if you want to build trust with yourself set out to accomplish a goal and learn the skills that it takes to get there if your goal is to work out four days a week that means tonight you need to pack up your gym clothes you need to research what workout you're going to do you need to put your gym shoes right at the entrance of your door and you need to promise yourself that you are going to make it to the gym tomorrow at 11 o'clock and when you wake up in the morning you do it I want to see you at that gym at 11 a.m. I don't want to hear any excuses. Excuses are just, they're BS. They're BS. You're just making an excuse to be mediocre. You're making an excuse to live a trash life. After all of your excuses compound because everything compounds, you're going to be looking at your life a year from now like, oh my God, like, I barely did anything like and then you just keep getting stuck further and further in that glue that keeps you down that keeps you boggled down thinking that you can't change your life because everything else is outside of you no you can change your life you literally just have to make one decision you need to put one foot in front of the other to take that step because everything starts with a small change another way to trust yourself is to own your decisions make choices that reflect what you value when you own your decisions I don't mean stand on business on decisions that make no sense that do not take you any closer to your dreams you don't own your decision about like not going to the gym you don't own your decision about not being able to communicate properly that's mediocrity and you are aiming for mediocrity which is stupid stop it clearly you're not mediocre because what are you doing on this video you wouldn't be watching this so snap out of it figure out what your values are here's a list of them Figure out what which ones resonate with you and make decisions that reflect those. Trust your intuition. Trusting yourself is trusting your intuition. Pay attention to your instincts and feelings. As women, we have been told and taught to not trust our intuition, to just trust logic, and logic is the way to go. But we have a special connection to the divine that gives us the ability to use our intuition to manifest and get closer to our dreams. If your intuition is telling you to go to that coffee shop today instead of staying home put that little effort that it would take to get ready and go there you don't know what is waiting for you there it could be your dream job it could be information on a stock that's going to skyrocket it could be the love of your life but if you don't follow your intuitions if you just keep suppressing everything and just follow logic like oh yeah like logistically speaking it's gonna take me a little too long to get ready and then too long to go there and then too long to sit down. Please, the time is gonna pass anyway. The last way to build and cultivate a relationship with yourself is to be yourself. Be yourself unapologetically. What I mean by that is be your higher self. Don't be the low vibrational version of yourself and be like, I'm just being myself. If yourself right now eats like garbage, being yourself doesn't mean to continue to do that. Being yourself is figuring out what is it that I actually want? Is this actually making me happy? Is this actually conducive to my dream life will this actually bring me health happiness love joy money if not be the version of yourself that already has that and all you have to do is let that version of you catch up to who you are right now if she stands up for herself when somebody insults you stand up for yourself that's what i mean by be yourself unapologetically be the highest version of yourself unapologetically
Okay, so that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that you were able to identify where your relationship with yourself is lacking and what you can do to fix that because like I said, the most important relationship that you will ever have is the one with yourself. So once you finally have that relationship with yourself and you've built a solid foundation, you can stop sitting around and waiting for life to happen and put your new skills to use. In this video, I will show you how to do exactly that. I hope you enjoy. Later.